hearing the starters' orders. Don't want any noises. Clicking of cameras sometimes is a problem, but they are called to their blocks. Azamati of Ghana on the far side in one. Abekun of Sri Lanka in two in the blue near the top. Aminiala of Kenya in those uh, fabulous Kenyan colours. He goes in three. Simbine, the defending champion, goes in lane four for South Africa in five. Emmanuel Eseme of Cameroon in six. Mitchell Blake of England in seven. Wales is Azu and Rohan Browning of Australia nearest the camera. Third. Good start there from Omanyala. He's got the jump on Sabina at the moment. Omanyala's going away with this one. He will not be caught. This is justice for the man who couldn't do himself justice in Eugene. He takes the goal for Kenya. 10 0 2 into a slight headwind, minus 0.9. But daylight between Ferdinand Omanyala of Kenya and the rest. Maybe about a metre's difference in it. And the winning time, well, it doesn't matter a hoot. Who cares that it wasn't under 10 seconds? It was brilliant running at the start. He got out of the block so well, put the others under pressure, and Omin Yala has gold. And we talk about the Kenyans being the long-distance specialists. They dominate at cross-country. They're great at steeplechase, 5,000, 10,000. This guy is from the other end of the distance spectrum. Akani Simbine takes the silver, 10.02 from Minyala. The South African, 10.13. I think a tinge of disappointment of those features. He was well beaten, but he does take the silver. And Yupun Abikun of Sri Lanka, a bronze medal, 1 100th one behind Simbine. And as a massive Ghana, the unlucky fall of history, ninth fastest man ever from anywhere around the planet. 9.77 he ran in the uh, middle of September last year. And there was never any doubt about it. He led from the very first strike. Simbine tightening up there with the pressure of trying to get back. That's more than a metre lead. Great running on the near side from Browning, who just got out dipped. It was so tight. You look at the place times. I'm telling you, from second place down to sixth place, just seven one hundredths of a second. I mean, that is a very, very tight finish indeed. I thought it looked there 20 metres out like Browning was going to get a medal. Yeah, I did, because he was closing. And then it all got a little bit tight on the line. I, you know, I said this uh, during the semi-finals. He looks like he's built like a boxer rather than a sprinter. His upper body is absolutely massive. And just like Julius Yego, who became a world champion for Kenya in the javelin, Omanyala is showing that the Kenyans don't just win medals when it comes to the steeplechase, the 1500, the 8, the 5 and the 10. He is a, a history maker and a record breaker for the proud East African nation. And I wonder how many more Kenyans will want to get into sprinting after seeing what Omanyala has done here in Birmingham and around the world's Diamond League circuit over the last couple of years. That was superb. Wasn't it just? And frankly, it wasn't close come the finish. 10.02 to 10.13. That's a metre and more, the speed they're moving at. They all hit top speed around between 60 and 80 metres, and then it's a case of holding form, trying not to decelerate too much. But Omanyala, he is tight there over the last 20 metres, but that was partly because he was smiling so widely, I think, when he knew the gold was in the bag. Abekun second to right, what a run from him. Absolutely superb. That is one of the biggest upsets of the week in these uh, athletics championships so far, and probably will be come the end of the week, because uh, Abekun. Well, I thought he'd done well to make the final. To actually get amongst the medals is, as you said, quite rightly, Rob. Quite there it is, Omignano, 10.02 to Simbine's 10.13. Gold for Kenya ahead of South Africa.